Welcome to this little tutorial video where I'm going to show you the new HDR blending feature of Lightroom 4.1. Normally I'm not the biggest friend of HDR blending because I prefer manual blending. Normally I didn't like this uh, HDR tone mapping stuff. It doesn't feel natural for me to process an image that way. But this changed a bit with the release of Lightroom 4.1 and the HDR feature. And I'm going to show you how I use this feature and why it's better for my workflow. So here's the little sequence of images I took in the German Partnachklamm. It's different exposures and you see I had a quite drastic dynamic range here. This is the bright exposure where I just have white. And then I'm getting to the darker ones with this one, which is exposed correctly for the bright ones, but the rest is just dark. And first thing I do is I take one of those photos and do some basic adjustments. For example, I set the white balance. I did decrease the lights a bit and not nothing more here in the basic settings. And I went over to the details and set sharpening to zero. Normally I do pre-sharpening in Lightroom before I go over to Photoshop, but for this exposure blending uh, as an initial step I set the sharpening to zero here. If there is noise in the picture, I might do a nice reduction now. Then I do lens correction, but I the distortion reduction I set to zero because I don't like what it does to the corners. Mostly the corners get a little bit soft if I set this to the normal 100 or whatever percent. What's important here under color, I remove the chromatic aberration. And finally, I have set a profile under camera calibration. And I usually do this just switching to the different profiles and see what looks best for the current image. For every image, this is different. For this one, I chose Camera Faithful. After I've done this, I usually select all the other images by holding down Control or Shift. Use the right mouse on the current image and go to Settings, Synchronize. And there, I synchronize everything. I've already done this for this set of images, so I'm not going to do this now. Next thing is, in my workflow, I want to export those images as TIFF. So I right mouse click on one of the selected images, export, and I'll put it in a separate folder, which for this one is just next to this raw folder I have them, but I have a separate TIFF folder. Uh, I have settings, TIFF, no, um, no compression, color is Adobe RGB, which is enough for me. You could even use Pro Photo, which is a bigger space, color space. And the bit depth, 16 bit, this is important for me. Else I have everything switched off, no sharpening. And then I just export the files, which is going to take a little while. And when it's done, I head over to Bridge. I'll give you some more time here. Okay, now it's done. Head over to Bridge, where I already selected this directory. I select all 
those five diff images and go to Tools, Photoshop, um, merge to HDR Pro or however it's called in English. I'm, I'm sure you'll find the HDR, HDR feature here. I click on it which will open Photoshop and directly merge those five images into HDR, HDR, sorry. <laughs> And what's important when this dialog comes up, up here is the mode and you set it to 32-bit, leave everything as it is and hit OK. So we don't do any tone mapping here. And up here you see we now have an RGB image with 32-bit and we'll directly save this. Save as, save this as TIFF and we'll use the same directory. Everything's left as is, 32 bit, no compression, interleaved. Press OK. Now we can close this one here. In Bridge, we now already see this Arch HDR image, but we need to open it in Lightroom. To do this, I go to the BIP and I need to synchronize this TIFF folder where I've exported the images and saved the HDR image. And and this will give me the initial sequence and also let's head over to the development. Where is it? Ah, here's the HDR image. And now this is crazy. You just use your normal Lightroom controls as you're used to. But now you have an image with a much bigger dynamic range, which you see if I move down this lights slider. There's a lot of detail revealed here. And if I increase the, the darks, <laughs> this is really amazing. If I had done this on one of the normal exposures, let's say this one, nothing would happen here. There's no detail. Or in the darker areas I get noise so this is not so good but if I do this on this 32-bit HDR image I get the details both in darks and the lights and now I'd work on this image I'd increase the clarity a bit give it a little bit more color I might come in and use the selective brush here and decrease the lights and paint in a bit on those bright parts to further bring down those light areas. See how I'm just targeting this area where the water is coming down. I could use a new brush where I work on the darks, for example. This area here feels a little too dark. So I might come in here and brighten it up a bit. Move over to the bright brush again and bring down those areas a bit. Or up here. I could also use a gradient and bring down the lights from above a bit. Maybe tweak the overall exposure a bit. Make it a little bit warmer. And now is the time to do some pre-sharpening pre also, which we have already a bit. Lightroom automatically inserted basic settings 
but I want to bring down the radius a bit. For pre-sharpening I don't use one pixel, I usually go for 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. I also add masking so I don't sharpen noise and then I might bring up the strength a bit to around 50. Is it's not uh, necessary to have all the sharpening here, it's just some pre-sharpening. We'll further I'll further work on sharpening the image later in Photoshop. What I can also do is selectively work on colors now. For example, let's look at those areas, bring down the saturation a bit. This looks a little too harsh. Or I might go down to this nice green water. Increase the saturation. Could also tweak color tones a bit. We make it a little more blue here. A little more all orange. And then I can also work on the luminance of the different colors. And I also I have um, much more dynamic range to work with here. So, all in all, you could say I work as usual, as I do in Lightroom. I use the same settings, but I do it on an image with, a much, with much more details and much more dynamic range. And this is, this is how HDR mapping should, should work, I think. And what we could do now, I could synchronize, just to show you the difference, the settings I did here with this bright exposure, for example. Uh, export, synchronize, all. And now we see what, what this would do to this exposure, or for example, better synchronize this one. So here's what I, what we did to the HDR image, and this is what we could have done to the normal image. So all this bright part would be just pure white. Also those areas, no detail there. Just noise in the dark areas, whereas the HDR image, we have perfect detail in the dark tones great detail up here. And also, what I like about this blending feature in Lightroom, everything looks sharp. Well, first of all, you, you need to work with a tripod and make sure that all the images are overlapping. But still, with many other HDR tools, what I found is mostly the image didn't look as sharp as the individual images. But here, with this Lightroom feature, this looks really great. Um, okay, so now it's time for you to try this out, to play around. Some final word. I've also tried this blending for an image where I had sky with some slightly moving clouds. And there I had some issues in the sky. It didn't look very good there. So it might, might be that in the future I, I usually I'd, I only use it for images where I don't have sky in it. Or if I have sky, I might use this blending for only the, the parts where, where I have uh, of the land and blend in the sky manually. Because now that, that I have this image, I can save it or export it as a normal TIFF, load it into Photoshop with another one of the normal exposures and still to a norm do a normal blending on this. But with this I have a much better starting point. Okay, so thanks for watching and till next time.